Hey guys, what's up? It's Corinne and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to do a look for you guys in honor of Halloween and also Spina Bifida Awareness Month, which is the disability that I was born with. Um, for Spina Bifida Awareness Month, um, it is a precaution for all living with Spina Bifida when we're born um, to pretty much stay clear of latex. It's a uh, we, all of us, not all of us, but most of us have latex allergies and then others become more prone to it as we get older. Um, I myself have a latex allergy and it's also becoming more common for those not with our disability. Able-bodied people are becoming allergic to latex and I myself have always wanted to become a makeup artist and have always been kind of discouraged because um, a lot of the time makeup artists, especially makeup artists who do like gory looks, which is a lot of, is something that I'm honestly very interested in. Um, I love gory and all of like the Halloween messy blood and whatever looks. Anyway, um, I've never been able to do so because of latex prosthetics and everything. So I'm going to show you guys something that I actually learned how to do an easy makeup look, not uh, using non-toxic products, um, yeah, non-toxic, non-latex products, um, fairly easy. Um, I got the idea from Instagram. I will link down below the artist that I actually got the idea from, and, um, yeah, let's get to the video. So what you're really gonna need for this makeup look is non-toxic Elmer's glue, cotton balls, or even tissue works, um, the tube that's going to go on your face and eyelash glue to stick um non latex eyelash glue obviously anyway. now what you guys want to do is pick a part of your face that you want to stick the bottle to so it makes it look like it's coming out of your face and stick cotton balls around it using elmer's glue and eyelash glue rip apart little pieces of cotton that are going to fit the area that you want, like so. <laughs> so I'm going to do, of, I'm going to outline the area that I want it to come out. You know what, I think I'm going to do it on my cheek. That sounds better. That I want the glue to stick in, or the cotton ball to stick in. Be careful because eyelash glue <laughs> sticks very easily and dries very easily so I'm gonna okay so I'm just gonna be my base all about the base about the... don't want to get demonetized okay okay kind of sort of something Like that. There we go. So this will be the outline for your bottle to stick in like so. So here's the part where the Elmer's glue comes comes in. So we're gonna make sure this sucker stays with a whole lot of Elmer's glue and then we are going to stick foundation on top to make it blend with your skin ah, this is going out a little too far Doo -doo -doo. And if you want to go in with a few more layers after this layer dries, go right ahead. The more layers, the better. You want to make sure it's really on there, especially if you're like going out trick-or-treating or, you know, to a party. <laughs>
Now that your masterpiece is dry from the glue, you should have something like this. Which, then, you shall take the foundation, whichever colored skin foundation that you have, and put it over the top. Me, myself, I am pale. So I got this. <laughs> start patting it on around the area which I'm sure then you will contour and do now that your masterpiece is blended with the rest of your skin you're gonna take the empty bottle of whatever makeup that you have well empty out the contents and then cut it in half and this is when your handy dandy eyelash glue comes in handy again because you're gonna put it on the edges of your half bottle, your half empty bottle. Oh, how strong eyelash glue is. Especially if you put it on on, like at me. Hey now, I just went to Disneyland with eyelashes. It has to be strong for us to go on those rides and still look beautiful afterwards. Especially that Space Mountain, you know. We don't want to lose a $35 eyelash on Space Mountain. <sighs> okay. And then you guys are going to stick. Still waiting for it to dry, but once it finally sticks to your face, it's going to look like somebody stabbed you with a concealer bottle. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying not to smile. Uh, it's not dry yet. <laughs> yeah. It's looking good so far. Okay, for the next part, um, I'm going to use my Mayron Makeup face paint to add a little bit more detail, uh, make it a little bit more gory and everything. If you don't have face paint, you can always use like lipstick, darker lipstick, blacks, whatever, um, to make your makeup look. You don't have to always go for the, you know, expensive face paint. I'm having some technical difficulties. I cannot open. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for opening. <laughs> yes. So I think I'm going to use this color with a little bit of black and a little bit of red. So you're gonna add it to like the inside here and all the way around. Now you should have something like this. Now I'm gonna write words across my forehead, but I, I can't do that while looking in the camera, so I'm gonna do that off camera, and then I'm gonna come back. But I'm doing it with um, Kat Von D liner, so. So I'm using the brush with the red paint watered down to do splatters of blood everywhere and I added my fingerprints there we go so next I am going to do like a joker smile with oh, splatters of blood. So I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to take it with my finger because the brush didn't work last time. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to And then, 
I'm gonna take a thin brush like this and cut out in the middle like that. Okay. Now that needs to dry. Now, for the lips, the glue is tacky, just about dry, so I want to add a joker. My joker smile. Let's see. a little depth to it by adding black. It doesn't have to be perfect. You want it to look grungy like if it's a wound. Like that. Perfect. So now all one needs to do to finish off this look is to add the blood, the fake blood. I made fake blood out of chocolate and food coloring. Left in the fridge overnight. It's amazing. And you can you can use it for your teeth. You can use it for cuts. It's great. Note to self: All I gotta say when using it, though, it gets absolutely everywhere and stains absolutely everything. So, warning: It has food coloring in it. It will stain your skin, and it also will stain every surface it, surface it lands on. So be careful. <laughs> I'm also going to Hey guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, happy Halloween. See you on the next one. Bye.